What's up guys, it's James, and it's another Pokemon battle without my face. I think y'all already know how dangerous Ice Q is, despite its cute appearance, but I'ma show you how to use Ice Q and how to counter Ice Q. So I chose the Rotom Grass here because three of their Pokemon are weak against Grass, that's half of their team. Choose our Pokemon and off we go! In the previous episode of Pokeball Z, I made a video about how strong Gengar is. She can take down like 1.5 Pokemon away from many teams, just like it's gonna do in this battle, and Ice Q will clean up the rest. A lot of trainers forget that Gengar has powerful poison type attacks, so when they send out a grass Pokemon or a fairy Pokemon, they're not gonna switch their Pokemon out for some reason. If that gorilla doesn't have any HP boost, it's going down. It's going down, 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 down. Goes really well with this battle music. Take this, Gengar's most powerful attack. One hit KO. And uh, bye bye, Gorilla. And what's yo next, Pokemon? Dancing Gengar. Gengar dancing to the music. Here comes Rhyperior. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use Icy Wind here, <laughs> just in case they have a weakness policy. Because you know if I use Icy Wind and I activate Rhyperior's weakness policy, <laughs> it's gonna be very ugly. I mean I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna bring out my Ice Q next. So when you do bring out your Ice Q, you want to bring it out against a physical attacker. I guess, you know, you can throw in an Ice Q on the first turn, if you know they're gonna send out a physical attacker, but you know, not many trainers are gonna send out a physical Pokémon on the first turn, when they see your Ice Q. Well, this trainer did, though. Look at how much damage that Shadow Ball does, even when Rhyperior is Dynamax. I mean, Rhyperior doesn't have a very high special defense. So yeah, tough luck, trainer. Gengar has Focus Dash, so... Gengar's gonna get one more Shadow Ball into yo yo face. And Rhyperior goes Super Saiyan, raises its special defense. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still not gonna use Icy Wind here. Shadow Ball, boom! Okay, so that's half of the HP, so yeah. I wasn't lying when I when I said Gengar can take down 1.5 of their Pokémon, was I? Okay, maybe that's like 1.3, but <laughs> still. So we lose one Pokémon, we lose... Good job, Gengar. They heal a little bit with their HP. Well, I don't know, Grassy Field. Now I'm gonna send, a, send out... I'm thinking of sending out Rotom here, but I'm gonna go ahead and... You know, send in an Ice Q. Ice Q is especially good against physical attackers that are slower than Ice Q. Ice Q used Belly Drum, so this, um, you know, this maximizes Ice Q's attack. So now, Ice all of Ice Q's attacks are gonna do four times more damage. That's right, four times more damage, and it's gonna heal with a Citrus Berry. That's a very good choice to use on Ice Q. It's gonna bring Ice Q's speed down. I love Ice Q's face when, you know, his mask is, well, when he's unmasked. So thank you for healing me with aggressive here. And yo, Rhyperior is gonna go down. No matter how high your defense is. Checking what Pokemon they have on the other side. So I, you know, I chose Head Head Smash here so I can take care of their Focus Sash. But I think Ice Q also remembers the Ice type move that always goes first. So I might want to you know, use that move, but. Just yeah, let's just see. Yeah, 
here we go. Oh, by the way, Ice Q's speed will be... I don't know, I think Ice Q's speed will be, like, double or something. It's gonna be a little bit slower than Dragapult, but that's still much faster than most Pokémon. Of course, they lowered my speed a little bit. But yeah, Ice Q's speed is basically gonna be somewhat close to Dragapult when his mask, Ice Mask, is off. And bye-bye Rhyperior. So, one more Pokémon. Form. So I guess I used, you know, that ice type move to bring back Ice Q's ice face. Although it's gonna lower Ice Q's speed and raise its defense. Because I didn't know that they're gonna have a physical attacker like they do right here. But. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a max rock rockfall just in case that. Cinderace has a Focus Sash. Boom! Ice Face is off. And now Ice Q is faster. And I don't know how Ice Q was faster than... Well, yeah, okay. I guess it was not faster than Cinderace, but... Bye-bye, uh, Cinderace. Yep. Good game, good game. Next battle. Okay, so... Hmm, so in this battle... Ah, uh, yeah, the opponent's using Ice Q, so... Thought it's a good got good opportunity to show you how to counter Ice Q. So... yeah, I mean, like, there's... I don't know, I got my butt kicked many times by Ice Q myself. So yeah, their basic strategy is probably... Gonna set up a wall, like reflect or yeah, reflect, and then send out an ice cube. So yeah, there's a uh, no two main ways you can deal with ice cube. Its ice face is only gonna block physical attacks, so. Ice Q is pretty weak against special attackers. Yeah, one way is to use special attackers, and one another way is to use a Pokemon that's much faster than Ice Q. And Cinderace is going to be faster than Ice Q when when Cinderace uses the Max Airstream. They send out their ice cube. Yeah. So I'm thinking about switching here. I mean, oh yeah, uh, that Excadrill. If your Excadrill has Mold Breaker, you can hit Ice Q's weakness without the Ice Face blocking your attack. So, yeah. Excadrill can take down Ice Q in one hit. And it depends on how the other trainer built their Ice Q. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up my Cinderace, so it's still gonna be faster when Ice Q's Ice Face comes off. And here we go, giant Cinderace! I'm thinking of changing my Cinderace to a girl. Okay, so Cinderace is flying tight now. Check this! Okay, so of course it's gonna do no damage. Then, of course Ice Q is gonna do belly drums. Most Ice Qs, you know, most, most of the Ice Qs that trainers are using is gonna have belly drum. Belly drum, so Ice Q's attack goes up to maximum. And it didn't heal its HP, so I don't know what item they had on their Ice Q. But yeah, that's gonna be a big mistake because. You know. 
so I think they could have won this battle if they had like a citrus berry on Ice Cube. And even with the reflect, that's gonna take down Ice Cube. And bye bye, Ice Cube. And yeah. <laughs> The other trainer realizes their mistake and they disconnect. And yeah, since they disconnected, one last battle with Ice Cube. How to use Ice Cube. Part 2. Okay, plus A, Zenu. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> and another trainer is sending out a... Gorilla. Grassy Surge. Which move to finish? Rillaboom with. So yeah, the other trainer thinks my Cinderace is the ace Pokemon. So they're gonna go ahead and Dynamax and stop Cinderace. Oh no! <laughs> Pyro Ball missed! <laughs> okay. Max Airstream. <laughs> wow, that's so weak. Can't even take down Cinderace. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry that my Cinderace does not have Sucker Punch here. No Sucker Punch! Yeah. It's probably not gonna be faster than that. Uh, you know, Rillaboom anymore. Okay, so I think I did bounce here. Uh, just in case Cinderace is faster. Just in case Cinderace is faster, he can, you know, bounce up into the sky and waste uh, Rillaboom's Dynamax turns. Rillaboom goes with Max Quake. Woo! <laughs> Cinderace fainted! So the other opponent thinks they've taken care of my ace Pokemon. I'm thinking which Pokemon to finish uh, Rillaboom with. I don't know, their Rillaboom is basically faster now, so... Yeah, once again, send an Ice Q in front of a physical attacker. And the other, planer, uh, other trainers thinking about if they should switch out their Pokemon. Max Airstream to bring up their speed even more. Okay, so it's definitely gonna be faster than Ice Cube. Even with this ice face off. Holy jump dun 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 dun. Okay, maximize its attack. Restored its health using the citrus berries. So I guess another way to counter uh, Ice Cube would be to send in a Quagsire or any Pokemon with what was it? The ability Unaware. Yeah, better Dynamax. 
because that Rillaboom is faster. So I went with Max Rockfall. I guess I chose Max Rockfall here, so... No. Yeah, so uh, Ice Q will be as fast as possible. Because when I use, you know, the Ice Move attack, and Ice Q's... Ice Q's face comes back, you know, Ice Q's max mask comes back on, then its speed is gonna go down. And there's no guarantee that Ice Q is going to be faster than the other Pokémon, so that's why I went with Max Rockfall. This also take, takes care of the Focus Sash that they might be holding. Let's send out a Rotom. Yeah, I thought Ice Q's dead meat over here, because I thought the Rotom is going to be faster. Yeah, I thought Rotom's gonna be faster, so went ahead and used Guard. I don't know why they used Thunderbolt though. Maybe they're holding like a Choice Scarf or something. I basically used Max Guard, so Rotom will be damaged just, just a little bit by the Sandstorm. <laughs> but surprise! Looks like Ice Q is faster, even with its lowered speed. I don't know how that happened. Communicating! So they sent out a... I forgot the English name of that guy. Or that Pokemon. It's a girl. Yeah, I guess I should have gone with a head smash. Might have taken down that... You know, the other Pokemon with one hit. Burned by the flame orb. Tough luck, you're gonna have to face Gengar with. Uh, no, Gengar's not gonna have any focus sash, unfortunately, because of the sandstorm, but doesn't really matter. Shadow Ball and good game. Right. So, if you liked that video, be sure to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video!